Morning guys, welcome back to another video back on the NC30 today. It's gonna to be a quick video. Today is um, wheels day. So this is finishing up this bike. Um, the last missing piece of the puzzle to get this bike sort of how I want it. I've sent the wheels off to powder coat in a couple of days ago, about two days ago. Um, I got a message uh, yesterday evening saying that they're ready to be picked up. So um, I'm going to go and pick them up now. I've got some new tires as well that have arrived, brand new um, tires. They are Bridgestones, uh, BTO90, I think they are, Batlax. Um, they're sort of like the sort of like the go-to tire for this bike. Um, tires are, are not that easy to find for this bike because of the setup, the sizes. There's not a lot of manufacturers that have the right sizes. We've got 18 inch wheel at the back and a 17 in the front. Um, so but i managed to pick up two two wheels and uh sorry two tires and they've arrived brand new so as soon as i pick up the um the wheels i'm going to drop them off to my tire guy he's going to pop these tires on for me he's put some new valves on and then and then i will be um ready to fit them on obviously the front wheel i need to put the brake discs back on and all that stuff um the rear wheel is a lot more easy on the uh, VFR being it's a single line, single sided sw swing arm it's just one bolt basically and uh, talk it to spec and job done so yeah so when I get down there I'm going to try and see if I can get some footage of the powder coating sort of warehouse and um, uh, see if I can get get the guy to, to give us a little explanation of the process that he uses seems quite a cool guy so um, yeah we'll see if I can get some footage of that for you guys and um, maybe give them a shout out um, so yeah so I shall see you when I get to the powder coaters hi there mate I'm uh, from West London Customs I'm going to show you around how we do everything and uh, all the stages uh, if you come if you follow me for a second so I use the buggies to carry my stuff over the bridge because uh, the bridge is just for uh, just for small cars or uh, buggies and stuff like this I have my acid room here where I strip the parts and uh, prepare them for blasting I have a washing up area in the back and a barbecue here when I want to do a barbecue <laughs> close to them. <laughs> and I'll take you to my walls now as well. Small, small office here and with some wheels, some premiated wheels, which I got some, uh, some prices. And uh, yeah, a little bit of a samples here. You can choose some colors if you want. I work with prismatic powder, some of the best ones in the world. And uh, I'm gonna take you in the workshop as well. Yep. Yeah. Ah, this is how your wheels as well. I did them uh, earlier. Yep. These are the VFR wheels. Looking good in white. What we've been waiting to get done, finish off the bike. And that's, uh, that's my workshop. I have a Harley Davidson wheel here, which I'm struggling to put on the, on the beat, the tire on the beat. My big oven for, uh, frames and bigger parts the mobile rack here down. I use this small oven for uh, for wheels tiny like motorcycle wheels two set of wheels nice my, my spray boot so this is where you where you, yeah, you put the, the powder coating on, so, and then you put them into the oven. Yeah, so basically you have electricity passing through this one. Okay. And uh, in case static electricity, you spray it on, it's a powder and it sticks to the metal. Okay, cool. I was cleaning the workshop a couple of minutes ago. Yeah, my, uh, my blasting boot. I need to change the sand. Sand is... It's for sand blasting and stuff. So yes, okay. I use uh, fine media, fine glass media. Okay. Some of the powders I use here. Uh, different colors. Yeah, different colors. Yeah, powders. Powders. And uh, I start doing setup coating soon as well. I have my equipment here for setup coating. Also, if you need any uh, TIG welding and MIG welding, I do that as well. And I have a pipe bender if you want uh, any frames or to bend any pipes. Cool, nice. Yeah, 
Nice. My tire machine, which uh, is quite old, but it's doing a good job. So basically, you can you can bring your wheel here. You can take the tires off. Yeah, yeah, you can take the here. bearings off. Correct. You can replace the tires. You can replace yeah. the bearings. You balance. You can do everything. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. You just drop your wheels and then pick up your new wheels. That's correct. All yes. done. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Cool. And that's an example of our finished wheels here, which are so these just been done. Now. Nice. So these are being ready to pick up, yeah? Yeah. Nice. Wicked. Nice one. Nice cool one. Man. Thanks a lot, man. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Hi guys, so I'm done. So I put the wheels on. Oh dear, a bit of a struggle doing this on your own <laughs> without a stand. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna reveal the bike to you guys, show you what it looks like now. Uh, now that the bike is 100% complete. So here we go guys. Here is the VFR. Complete with white powder coating wheels. Brand new tires, as you guys can see. Fresh tires on the back, fresh tires on the front, new wheels. So this is it 
you guys finished product so now I feel happy now I'm complete makes a massive difference let me know what you think black wheels white wheels which one do you think looks better to me this is the color so yeah I absolutely love it but let me know you guys thoughts Going crazy.